Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. This is the second part of the fifth trial. I'm anticipating this thing to be like three to four hours. So, uh, you're in for a ride. This might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Why do you say that? As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. Now, something there's something to be said about blind hope, and like how how that's very strong throughout this entire party, and they don't give in to despair despite like being being co confronted with it. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. You want to, but is that possible? I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? It doesn't make sense. Even if he did commit suicide, someone would have prompted him to do so. Or maybe he just killed himself to, 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 well, no, he wouldn't. Mm. But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. I feel that there's some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Why are you so adamant about this? What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Oh, my heart is warming up. Everyone, working together. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now... Alright, let's do this. Okay. I have a guide ready, just in case. I already used it twice. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? Or maybe he used his front tail? I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed! What are you saying? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! Now there's, a, there's an iron weight and a, and a rope to the spear. There's no doubt he used some part of his body. His teeth? His penis? His torso? Only able to- But his left hand was- Then that rules out his left hand. No, that's wrong! Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. I just remembered. Like, it just flashed in my head, the, the irregular blood patterns on his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered... That's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. Oh great, I love using my imagination in a game that's all about facts and evidence and logic. If there's blood on his palm, and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? Let's say he was jerking off. Maybe he was using his front tail. I see! When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange-looking blood stain on his palm, and the back of his hand. 
but what was he gripping? That's the question here. Because let's say that he used his left hand to grip the spear and stab himself. Why was it tied up then? Was he grabbing his front tail? <laughs> Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! What is your obsession with this man's penis? <laughs> now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. Now, this is strange because the iron weight has blood on it, and the spear itself has blood on it, but the cord does not. So, going with the blood on the girder, it's possible that he looped the iron weight around the girder. I don't know. Let's not go farther. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right. That's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Huh? Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Yes. Because if his left hand was tied up, right? I see! That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. But the cord is very thin, so that wouldn't have encompassed his entire palm and wouldn't have stopped blood from getting on it, right? Or was he, like, really curling his fingers around it. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Kill me! Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right! So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then, the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Tiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nagato is gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? Yeah, I'd, I, I'd go for some tea right now. At a time like this. Something herbal to heighten my spirits. How about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? That's a long plan name. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. So... How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that... That's it. Could it be? The state of the spear, and the fact that Nagato was holding the tip of the cord attachment. If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagato. Sorry. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Where was the spear uh, above Nagito, I believe? Nagito's left hand, alright. If I'm right about this, I'll feel slightly better about myself. Oh, look, there's moving objects now! What a novel addition to this minigame. Oh, boy.
Besides the spear, what else was above Nagito? The sprinklers, that's true, but... Yeah, yeah. It was suspended from the ceiling girder. Oh, kill me. I'm getting very fortunate with these moving objects, aren't I? Uh What item connects both the spear and the ceiling girder? Three for three, baby. I did it. It's all coming together. I still have the guide up. I'm not- I'm not resigning myself to my own intelligence quite yet. Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? That'd be awesome, but... He probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. Oh, and the iron weight would have uh, <laughs> left a mark. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. Really? There's no reason other than to make it look like a suicide so you escape suspicion? I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then... this is for real? He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body... that was all him? Not just that, he did all that while he was gripping the spear? We're about an hour into this trial, so no. No, it, we're not- this is not the conclusion. That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth, too? He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. And that's why he stabbed himself over and over again? Huh. Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. Seriously, so messed up. Uh. Yeah, that's our Nagito. <laughs> now there's there's something else here. There's something else. Who's responsible for his 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 chain of events? Jeez, I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me! I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I had forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? He said he would weed out the traitor even if it cost him his life. Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. 
So why did he not just do that in the first place? Let's not forget that he was the one who brought up the notion of, tr of torture in the first place. He said, unless you feel moved to despair, how do you expect hope to, hope to shine, right? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. And tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Oh, is this gonna be a chapter 5 where, like, something impedes the real truth, but you have to lie to get out of it? Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? Right? <sighs> what? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is? Or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well. I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. No, no, present your opinion, please. I'd love to hear it. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then... it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? So who's the blackened, Kazuichi? Then it's okay? It's okay to say... You've decided on the killer? Understood! Then voting ta- No, hold on a sec. <laughs> hold on? Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but- Now you're assuming that the traitor is- like, the same person who killed Nagito. The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But... I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus... It's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death, and it's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? Here I thought we were finally finished. A piece of ed evidence that even he couldn't mess with. Plushie, blood, panels, lighter, player, account. Bombs are fake. Notebook? Poison. Hope Speak Academy. Crap! No. Something else, something else. Something Chiaki would point out. Right? Monokuma I file. See. Something he couldn't influence! Is it about the Monokuma file? Something he couldn't influence. Yeah. That's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? Is it time of death? Inside the warehouse. Time of death believed to be noon. Okay, alright, great. The suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Shiaki is worried about is... What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? Great! The best minigame of Danganronpa. Haha. Uh -huh. No, wait, what? Something of death. Cause of death. 
cause of death. Ah, you said, yeah, god damn it. I got it. In this particular case, is Monokuma file. There's no specific cause of death. So, so maybe I was right earlier. Maybe he was poisoned first, and then this whole elaborate trick was set up so it made. So <laughs> Maybe that was the case. Maybe, maybe the poison just, just came... Just, maybe he was just poisoned. Didn't the poison description say that it was untraceable? And it worked immediately? I don't know. It breaks down in minutes. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious. No. Is it not? No, 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 Sonya, no. The Sphere in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma? I plead the fifth! There he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Mikan's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but, but it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean... This is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? Should I have spent my free time with Nagito? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. Always, always be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma! You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be all right. That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair he said he was yearning for that. Then, the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagato wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. <laughs> Intermission time? No, no! Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but... Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. You're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Monami? Hey, how much longer are you playing to sulk? Let's get along like we, like we always do. Alright, you passed! Friendship is measured by how long you can stay in the silence when you're all alone with someone else. 
So Monami and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough, why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snapped at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Well, there may be some demands for that. I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? I think it's that time again, so I will uh, I will end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair is available on Steam and the Vita for $30. The prequel, Trigger Happy Havoc, is also available on Steam and the Vita for $30. Please pick them up if you can. They are fantastic games. Um, I am not the best representation of them. You should, you should play them for yourself, experience them for yourself, because you're going to love them a lot more than I do as of this moment. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.